Hey, welcome back! We're going to build a mini castle today for Ariel. So this is called Mini Disney Ariel's Castle. Nice and easy <laughs> to remember. This is not normally the sort of thing that I like to build because this is like at a micro scale. Actually, I don't know about that. I don't know what the specifications have to be for something to be deemed a micro build, but it's small. It's supposed to be displayable, but not playable. So it's for building and popping it on your shelf. It's just supposed to look pretty on display. There are actually a couple of other castles already available in this small size but this one comes with a mini doll and mini doll of area which was a big selling point for me so I had to get this one so 557 pieces at $70 here in Australia and $40 in the US quite a lot of money for a small bill so let's have a look and see what we get in the box and what it looks like when we put it together so like I mentioned, it does come with a mini doll of Ariel. Ariel actually has her old style face, which I'm, I, you know, I didn't even really love the old Disney princess style faces. I can't get her hair on it. So she's got the old style face and the old style hair as well. I do like the new hair. Uh, it's just kind of curious to me though, that we've got a new version and this one is the old version included in this set, which is a new set. Anyway, you know, I don't understand why these things happen the way they do. So this is a display set. So we get a really beautiful, well-rounded display base for obviously for displaying it on and for holding the whole build up so a what do you call this like a curved rectangle built up by little like by one layer by one set of plates it looks lovely I mean look at this this is our base and we get some little dots of water some little corally bits little turquoise corally bits and then actually I don't even know if I'm going to be able to identify all this stuff as we go along and what's going to be hidden inside because it's not really that kind of a build it's really just supposed to look like actually <laughs> so distracted I want I need to go and have another look at what the castle looks like in the original film and how this stands up yeah next to the actual picture but also <laughs> <laughs> this is King Triton's castle. So it would have been cool because we actually have a merman. We've got our mini doll version of King Triton. That would have been cool to include in this too. Okay, we're up to bag number two. Uh, I've been busy going, and maybe, <laughs> so many and maybes, putting lots and lots of details in. So the whole kind of precedent or the idea of the underwater castle is like Grecian columns or Roman columns or, you know, underneath the water columns. So columns, columns, columns. We've got a little gem hidden in the back. Got this bit. Where does it go? Oh, okay, so that does go on that little jumper stud bit. So all rounded and all columns and airy, obviously, because it's, I mean, the water has to flow through it. It's not this big brick medieval style castle it's it's beautiful so we're gonna see what it looks like in a tiny form this guy's in here it's got a rod through the middle for stability I love how we got little watery bits here breaking up the solidity of these these side bits of our pillar doesn't that look lovely okay and on the top we've got yeah uh, that bit there <laughs> we got that bit on the top and then this bit goes around here oh and I just have to make sure so that is still actually free moving so I just have to make sure all my grills there are lined up my girls my girls are lined up my grills are lined up and then toppity bit of the grills that's cool too that's like a a car spoke kind of thing in aquary mint and this is the tippy topper of that got all my girls lined up and we're ready to put this up here so that's the tallest pillar of them all so that's the yeah the big structure at the back and we're opening up bag number two and three together at the same time so these little pillory bits here go on either side our big pillar I mean I feel like I'm going to be saying pillars a lot I can intersperse the word pillar with columns because that's two actually they're probably two very different architectural <laughs> things but they're both round right though I suppose you can have square ones of both <laughs> now I'm overthinking it obviously the whole point of this is not to have square this is cool that we have the binoculars as the articulation on the top to make the little definition interesting architecture oh my gosh and this is the top of that pillar that we've just done oh my goodness a little little crown up there too so pretty it's the whole color scheme of Ariel's castle Oh, the underwater castle is so so very pretty it's so peaceful and calming on the eyes I really like the, this color scheme okay all right so we got these little round pillory color columny things here and then we've got an upside down shell to create a cover over there or just kind of the top of those pillars now we've got another one of the 
our prides. I'm going to start calling them our prides too, which we're going to be layering our side bits like we did before with the little watery bits in between. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so very, very sorry. I have no idea how to actually describe what I'm building here. I think it's just very pretty as it goes together. And I do really like the, the round tubey bits that have got the opalescent -y colors on them too. They just bring an extra vibrancy to the whole, yeah, to the whole build of it. And a little bit of fairy tarnas too, a little bit of mermaidy Disneyness. Okay. So this is another one of these it's got a cupcake on it so that's cool just to add that yeah add a different texture to the top to the tippity topper and then these oh, we've got a claw we're doing something a bit different other than just just creating upright tubes it is the whole thing is just a variation on upright tubing tubular tubular building oh, and we've put some of the gates on the claw pieces that we had sitting on the top and they're on an angle so it's once again going to keep this nice rounded form i can't figure out if this is the front or the back at the moment i think this is the back we're working on that would make sense right just a little oyster kind of pearly shell thing hidden in the back working around these sides now creating more <laughs> upright tubes <laughs> tubular uprightness and this one's also got a little cupcake wrapper on it too to make that really cool shape on the tippity top more tubes more columns more nice interspersions of pink and coral and this is not okay so this is definitely the front so we've got our front gates oh no hold on this is creating more of the definition i really think it's so interesting using the gates as something other than gates so they're actually creating the architecture the facade of the the outs yeah facade is outside the external features of the actual castle right so we've got an entryway in here it's a very teeny weeny oh, i'm gonna have to get i'm going to get my aerial mini doll and see no micro doll and see if she will fit in here i really really love these new pieces in the foliage especially in the opalescent pink and we put them on some translucent pink rods to make the shape around the side that little featheriness and this on the side is supposed to hold hold no hold on, i've done that wrong so it goes on the top hold Ariel in position like she's yeah swimming in the water so this is it this is the whole thing it is very very pretty it's very very displayable it's not playable in the least but that is not its function this is for people who just want something pretty to look at on the shelves remind them of their favorite movie the little mermaid and i think i reckon that i might be able to fit a little micro doll into that archway i look i know the micro doll is probably not the right market for the audience for this particular set but i think they're really cute they have no articulation but they're really cute and she's the right scale right look at that she's probably still a little bit big but she works so cutely cutely is not a word but i'm totally popping it in here now does she fit in she does not i can't actually pop her on here because of all those little water drops and stuff there's nowhere where i can actually pop her maybe i can put her on the side maybe we could take big ariel off and put little ariel over here to the side and big ariel down here and now there's like they're like sisters oh my gosh all right this i think this just immediately became even more endearing to me once I put in the micro doll version of Ariel unfortunately it doesn't come with that micro doll but anyway you mix and match you mix stuff up so that it makes you happy and this has ultimately now made me happy anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments let me know if this is the sort of set that you are really really excited to build and check back in because there are more videos coming up really soon so I will see you then <laughs> bye